Introducing Seiko's all-new Land Tortoise SRPG15 in a nice rich blue that looks gorgeous. This one is going to be a fan favorite. Blue usually sells the best and I can see this one keeping that tradition alive. A rich blue dial and the date disc is black at 430 unlike that khaki version which has a white date disc at 430. All right. That's really cool. It matches well, it fades away. So you get that excellent symmetry, 12, three, six, and nine. That is a great look, huge fan, big improvement. I know a lot of people don't like the 430. They think it's off and you know what? I agree. I prefer a no date, but if it's going to be at three, I prefer 430. If not, just put it at six. How Oris or Stoa do it, that's what I like. Now let's get into that case shape. We do have that iconic 6309, 6306 first generation turtle. DNA coming through cushion case. Look at that high polish and nice brushing on the top. Nice shoulder blade right there. This is the trademark turtle DNA and it is so beautiful. I'm a big fan of the turtle style case. It melts on the wrist. It's so comfortable. And this with its new smaller size is a home run. I got 42 millimeters in diameter. 11.6 thin, ultra thin, 44.9 lug to lug. We do have drilled lugs for easy strap changes, and I do recommend changing this strap. It is ultra stiff and very uncomfortable. Probably will take a year or longer to break in. And the case back is functional. It has ground to air codes. So if you're ever stranded on a deserted island, you use that ultra reflective sapphire crystal on purpose, and you can flash the planes, get their attention, and use one of these codes. All is well, require food, check them all out. They're very cool. Now this is still a Prospects 200 meters water resistance, but it's not ISO rated. But I bet you if it had a loom pip at 12, Seiko could send this in and it would probably pass. Okay guys, so I've been busy at work and I couldn't grab a turtle from Kavar Jewelers. So I'm gonna have to use a customer's mod, but the dial is questionable, so I can't show it. So this is a real turtle but it just has a different dial on it. And there you can see that size difference. And yes, I'm angry <laughs> right there. So if you want to purchase this tortoise, link in the description down below to Kavar Jewelers, where we have all the new Seikos, Canada's largest Seiko authorized dealer. Let's get back to it. I'm going to ma match the hash marks right there. East to 45, man. This thing is 45 from three to nine on the cushion case. And then we got 13.2 thick, okay? Versus 11.6. Look at that huge difference, guys. That's massive. Now the lug to lug, 46.8 on that turtle and 44.9 on the tortoise, man. This really demonstrates the huge gap between these two watches in size. Remember, it's still a 42, so it just wears more refined and has a more tight looking package. Even that bevel right there on the edge of the case, that side profile where the cushion begins looks sharper than the Turtles. Turtles looks a little bit more soft, more curvaceous. What do you guys think? Am I just seeing things? Yeah, it looks more defined on the new tortoise. Interesting. All right. Here is a Willard comparison. 42 versus 42. This is more like it. 
matching the hash marks. There we go. Interesting. The curvature near the lugs looks different. Size very close. Now the secret measurement on the Willard, 40.2. The secret measurement on the tortoise, 40 even. So I'm sure these inserts will fit. Now let's do the thickness. We got 13.6 on the Willard, 11.6, so two mil difference, exactly. However, the Willard has a double domed sapphire that sticks out and that wave at the bottom right there sticks out just about half a mil. So you don't really count that because it sinks into your wrist. Both have 20 mil straps. These things are close. Okay, there we can see the lug to lug. Both have drilled lugs. We got 46.1 on the Willard and 44.9 on the Tortoise. So about one mil, 1.1 ish. And the, the bezels look almost exactly the same. Almost. They are, they must be different but they look so similar. Both coin edge, both around 40 mil even. Hmm. And the crowns are exactly the same at 6.4. So they're not exactly the same in finish. This one has a radial brushing on the new land tortoise and high polish on the blue willard. And of course the crown guards are different. All right, so there you guys go. I wanted to do more of a comparison since we already did the khaki watch. So you guys can see it next to its two closest cousins, the turtle and the willard. The price is coming in at 525 USD. Wow, for Sapphire Pro Specs 200 meter water resistance with heritage of the turtle DNA. This thing is a great value. I'm a fan of Seiko using Sapphire in the more affordable tier now. Hopefully this trend continues. Everything lines up, chaptering perfect, hands perfect, and bezel is always perfect because it's bi-directional and it doesn't matter, you can line it up however you want. So they get a they get a freebie there, they're kind of cheating, but the chaptering is perfect on this one and this one. That's interesting, two for two. When I get more of the colors, if they're all perfect as well, I'm gonna confirm Seiko has improved their manufacturing process at least for their newer models, which is such big news. Here it is on my 6.5 inch wrist, and yes, it wears a little bit smaller than that size indicates, that 42. Feels like a 40 on the wrist. Nice, tight, compact, and refined. I'm a fan of this one, but this strap is crushing my wrist. Look at it floating at the bottom there. <laughs> it's suffocating my arm, and it is making it stick up a bit on that side. So definitely wish I could put this on my Uncle Seiko GL, which I have right here on the side, and see a true feel, and get a true feel for the watch, but this is not my watch and I cannot do that. I can't risk any scratches under the lugs. This one is for sale. Man, it wears great though. I think it wears better than the Willard. Oh no. Now the weight, 88 grams. Very nice, ultra lightweight for all day wear. Okay, here it is on the time grapher. We have the 4R35 23 joules hack hand wind automatic, 41 hours of power reserve, three hertz. And we already did eight rounds, dial up, and we got negative two seconds a day. And now we're gonna do eight rounds, 12 down, to get the positional accuracy, how it will perform on your wrist. Seventh round, negative nine. Low amplitude, which is not good. Low B error, which is good. And the eighth and final round, negative nine. Oh, it just went to negative 10. Okay, so negative 10 and negative two. It's gonna perform roughly about negative eight, negative seven on your wrist. Okay, there is the loom shot. You can see beautiful blue loom from Seiko. And man, if someone makes an aftermarket with BGW9, it's gonna match fantastic. Let's bring in the Willard and compare. So you can see green versus blue and the Willard has a loom pip at 12 because it's ISO rated. All right, look at that. Strong loom from Seiko, awesome. Here it is in low light and the contrast between that inky blue dial and creamy indices and hands is amazing. The legibility, wow. Now the hands are not faux tina but they're not bright white. There is a slight discoloration and it looks great. 
We do have an applied Seiko logo printed Prospects 20 bar automatic at the bottom. I wish the chapter ring was color matched. I like a more cohesive look. That's why when I modded this one with the blue lagoon dial, I took it out because the chapter ring did not match. So I made it more cohesive and went with the dark night dial. And video on this soon. I actually filmed it months and months and months ago, but it's being pushed back by new releases like this watch. So stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.